Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have 1 over t multiplied by 1 over t is equals to t over 8 and we solve this problem for the values of t. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is first we need to remove these fractions, fractional values from both of the sides. Now in the left hand side we multiply the numerator term with the numerator and the denominator term with the denominator so that uh, we have 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to 1 it is divided by t multiplied by t is equals to t square and this is equals to t divided by 8. So here further in the next step we need to cross multiply the terms here we multiply this term with this value and we multiply this 8 with 1. So after cross multiplying the terms we have t square multiplied by t is equals to t square times of t and 1 multiplied by 8 is equals to 8. <clears throat> and now further in the next step. Uh, you know that basis of these two terms are same so we add its exponents and 2 plus 1 becomes here 3 is equals to 8 and now here now we move this 8 in the left hand side and it will be written as t cubed minus 8 is equals to 0 and now you see here this equation will becomes cubic equation in t variables and you know about that if an equation has uh, uh, the degree is 3 it means that the that equation has 3 roots. So now here in the next steps we find all that 3 roots of this equation. So uh, here first we rewrite this equation as this is t cubed minus we write this 8 as 2 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step we, uh, we solve this problem with the help of cubic formula and you know about the cubic formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of uh, a square plus a b plus b square. So according to this cubic formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b. So now here we substitute these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this formula. So after uh, putting these two values here we will get our above equation as in this form. First you have a minus b here our a is t and b is 2 into a square. So a is t square plus a b a is t and b is 2 plus b square. So b is 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as t minus 2 times of t square plus this is 2t and plus this is 2 square is equals to 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square plus 2t plus 4 is equals to 0. So uh, from first case we easily get the value of t is equals to 2. So this is the our first real root of the given equation. Because uh, our equation is cubic equation so in order to find the other two roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. And here uh, we very well know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is factorization method, the second method is completing square and the third method is by applying the quadratic formula. And now we solve this problem with the help of quadratic formula so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to 2 and c is equals to 4 and we state the quadratic formula as t is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a. This is the over quadratic formula and now here in the next steps we put the values of a, b and c in this formula. So after substituting these values we will get here our t is equals to 
this is minus b the value of b is 2 when we put it here it will becomes minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next steps we need more simplifications here and we get here t is equals to this is minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square 2 square becomes 4 minus this is 4 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now here in the next step you see here uh, inside the uh, square root sign we have 4 be the common term uh, so after taking common 4 we will get here 4 times of here we get 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 so further in the next step uh, we need to uh, break this square root sign on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 2 plus minus this is square root of 4 into square root of 1 minus 4 is equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 so further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as t is equals to minus 2 plus minus we know that square root of 4 is equals to 2 and here again we break this square root sign we apply the square root on 3 and square root on minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So further you see here uh, we know that uh, the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so that we uh, replace this uh, square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and after replacing this value we will get here minus 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 and now here further in the next steps we break this fraction and uh, when we break this fraction it will be written as minus 2 divided by 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 so you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we obtained here minus 1 plus minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have the one real root of the given equation r t is equals to 2 so this is the one real root of the given equation and these are the three roots of the given equation so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos